Hey, Stro here, and welcome to Tato's Game of Thrones episode 1. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to. This is Ice of Fire. No, Iron from Ice, I think. Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's play the game now. Let's play. <laughs> the trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fought all the hours. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. He'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. <laughs> Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. Um, I say that as a friend. Even mm -hmm. if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had a hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh! Let him finish. Well, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. <laughs> You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. And House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Let your go. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North. The, the King, King in the, the North. North. Tomorrow we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. The North remembers! <laughs> Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. 
There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. <sighs> that I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prig. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squire in for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Just shut your mouth. It's the truth. It's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> All I'm saying is... At this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walters. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Marines have cast him in. What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Owen, we have to go! You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> oh.
damn it, Dad. Do it again. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. or not. Hey, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. Find a weapon. Quickly! Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the phrase says time to Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. <clears throat> I'd be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, the phrase you have to go. Stage, you're welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go, my lord. By I... your God, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? 
You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> <laughs> We love you, my friend.